What's up guys, welcome back for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, Infernoble Knight, cool um, archetype, I think it has been quite a while, a couple of uh, months that I last uh, reviewed this archetype, but they are starting to pop off in the OCG because the deck is, qu is quite ridiculous, Jesus Christ, it, it, it can play around multiple hand traps, uh, thanks to of course your God Phoenix Gear Freed, and uh, it does have a lot of, I mean it, it's also incorporating the ridiculous uh, combo in today's format, um, one of the most buzzed combos I ever like. I mean, Needle Fiber into Link Cross shenanigans, the Mega Phantom Beast Link also. And um, yeah, it, it just opens up the Savage Play, the, the level 9 Synchro Play as well. And of course, your Infernoble Knight monster does have that, um, or Archetype does have that ability. The thing, as I mentioned before, is that I'm sure you're, you're definitely aware of the fact that Infernal One Knights are able to play around the potential uh, hand traps, and I'm looking um, like straight into Nibiru's eyes uh, before, uh, you know, like getting out Kirfried before the fifth summon, so you're able to negate the potential Nibiru in your opponent's hand. If your opponent has Veil or Ash Blossom, that's fine. Uh, on let's say fiber, well most of the time just on Isolde, prevent Isolde from using her effect, most of the time their special su or the special summoning effect from the deck. Um, but again, Infernal Knights do have uh, multiple follow-up plays, they definitely have the ability to play around like um, hand traps from the opponent. You definitely want to go first, Smoke Grenade, that's a super old school card, not really sure about the correct set, is it like um, a Labyrinth of Nightmare or Legacy of Darkness, not really sure. <laughs> I'm sure it's definitely an old school card. Again, it, it, it just during the end phase it lets you equip, you know, like the synchro lets you equip something, um, and at the same time uh, pop something during the end phase. You can just pop your smoke grenade and get a look at your opponent's hand. So basically, getting rid of um, like a threat during their turn, lightning storm, dark ruler, no more, or whatever. Um, unless of course they draw it uh, if it's their sixth card. But even then, I mean. Uh, Getting out multiple negations with any two card combo leading into Isolde and with this deck that's super easy because of the Noble Knight, um, I mean Infernal Noble Knight engine or basically as, as a whole and of course the, the deck plays like uh, seven reinforcements of the army. So anyway, again, making sure um, that I get um, my uh, God Gear Feet to, uh, on my side of the field before the fifth summon you. Good. Uh, if you know that your opponent is not playing Nibiru, there is uh, like like um, well you you're not forced I guess to get your gear free to, to the field, but it it's just um, extra protection. I th I think you should go for it every time if you see the opportunity. Thanks to your level one noble knight, right? Getting getting it back from the graveyard. That is. Again, the standard uh, problem package, I call it in today's format with Marshall Marcher. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, there are some uh, variations uh, to the combo. You will see it in the video as well with Eldlick also getting out True King of All Calamities. And uh, I've seen Simo's uh, video yesterday uh, talking about uh, if uh, Chat Synchron should be banned. Um, well,. Yes and no. <laughs> it's obviously that, that needle fiber is a problem. Needle fiber into link. Well, even link cross is not. Um, it, well, it, it's definitely a problem. But you will see. In one of the Eldlish uh, matches, uh, I don't. I, no, it's not this one. But you see that that link cross is not needed, and that um, needle fiber and the mega phantom beast link. Those are the problem cards. Of course, next to um, uh, O Lion, right? And the test bot, <laughs> the test bot as well. But I mean, those aren't really the card. Well, Konami just might say uh, or keep needle fiber into play and just uh, follow like uh, ban uh, at least the banning f on like claw bulb or whatever, or ban the tuners instead of actually uh, dealing with the problem. So anyway, going second, the deck definitely has the capability of going second, and um, I've based myself on a list posted up on Road of the King. I'll leave a link in the video description. Road of the King also has a couple of uh, like combos, um, like written combos, if you want to get yourself into the deck. Uh, the standard combos of you know there are multiple uh, card combinations that pretty much lead into the same board or almost the same board. Um, so yeah, Call Dragon giving me the extra draw, basically an extra opening, so I'm able to special summon Deskbot in attack position. Um, so again, getting the three uh, free tokens, uh, 
low, um, yeah, well, standard combos, I guess. Again, making sure that Martial Marcher is special summoned in the extra monster zone, and it's ridiculous, right? You can special summon like uh, a level 5 Synchro Tuner from the graveyard, easy Savage, and also, you know, Marcher itself is a level 3 tuner, so that's an easy level 9 Synchro play. That could be, I mean, as, as you saw, um, both uh, Trishula and uh, Shooting, st um, what is it called? Shooting Riser Dragon are in the extra deck. Um, that's needed if, um, just in case if your opponent has like the negation on your fiber, on needle fiber, so you can synchro summon, um, well yeah, tribute needle fiber during your opponent's turn, sh special summon riser, the level 7, and you know, with link cross, those extra tokens could lead to a potential level 9 synchro play during your opponent's turn. And yeah, it was a miscalculation on my part. This was the combo I was talking about, and um, the fact that you can pump out True King of All Calamities with multiple draws, not to forget, um, out of just one normal summon Jet Synchron, that, that, that's not cool, that's, <laughs> that's ridiculous, yeah. And um, it doesn't really involve uh, Link Cross also, so you just go for the level uh, 5 Synchro, I guess, the plant one. Go for Coral and eventually, you know, banish the level 5 Synchro from your graveyard. Again, a free Coral special summon leads to another level 9 Synchro play, and True King of All Calamities is in 99% of the times game over, unless of course your opponent has impermanence, or you're not activating uh, True King of All Calamities because of impermanence. You know what I mean? You, maybe you want to wait, but I mean, you really don't want to wait because of Dark Rule or no more. So instant scoop can't play around that. Going first, the easiest combo is, um, what's it called, Ex Paladin, I believe the name is, of equipping the mouse, Mighty Mouse. Not, it's not Mighty Mouse, but I, I can't pronounce the name, I'm not going to butcher that one. And um, that's what I was talking about, I mean, you should probably just, um, like, Veiler or uh, Blossom or Impermanence Isolde's special summoning effect, making sure that your opponent does not have the beneficial warrior, I guess, on the field to go for the second copy of Isolde and using her special summoning effect that way. So yeah, anyway, so even after two hand traps, you can, thanks to that generic OP combo of a Marcher, the tokens, reborn in the level 5, Boral Savage, it doesn't really matter. Coral giving me the extra draw, the level 9 synchro play that leads to the smoke grenade attached during the end phase. You can play around two hand traps while at the same time during the end phase get free information about your opponent's hand and, you know, confiscation something away thanks to smoke grenade. Um, so I think we know the hand, so I can definitely equip the, what is it, Roland? It's not Roland, I'm not really sure about the, I think so, I mean, just equip something during your opponent's turn, interrupting their place, and this should be game against Smoke Grenade for free information, and um, yeah, go in for, uh, basically go all in, right? Um, I've seen that, um, well, you can definitely play, play like 60 cards, maybe go for, what is it called, like Dolphin and uh, the regular Noble Knights as well, you know, like Madrot, I believe the name is. Um, yeah, definitely. Those are definitely options, but I, I just want to keep the deck as, as close as, uh, to 40 cards. But uh, as you saw, maybe in the OCG they are playing a little bit over 40 cards. Um, I like that as well. I mean... You're playing a lot of equips, and that's still the biggest weakness of this deck, is that the deck does, is well, it's running a couple of bricks. I'm not really looking at the tuners, like O-Line is the biggest one, you definitely don't want to have that in your hand. Um, you, because, again, yeah, the Mega Phantom Beast, only special summons from the deck, okay, Fiber could special summon it from the hand, but that's, well, it, it's cool, but it's not really optimal. But the biggest weakness of this deck is, again, the multiple equips it's running, and you might, um, you know, like opening, uh, you might be opening with like multiple equips without any follow-up play, even though, you know, like Infernoble Knights do have multiple, like two, even one card combos that lead to big pumped out uh, fields and multiple negations, so the deck definitely has potential, and that's something we've seen in the OCG just from the most recent OCG metagame breakdown, is that it's doing quite good, in one of the tournaments of si more than 60 people, it went undefeated, 9-0, that, that, that's cool. Um, last example going first again. Some standard um, standard plays, I guess. Multiple follow-up plays. Isolde is cute. Um, uh, Ash Blossom is cute. But again, have the follow-up play in the form of Durandal, I believe the name is. So again, Link Cross getting me the, uh, giving me the free tokens because I already have the, um, the other level for the, the other one that equips. You know which one I mean. And um, getting the free token, sacrificing the potential um, 
what is it called, the Task Patron. But it's cool, basically the same uh, combos, a marcher, reborning, um, like a tuner, level 4 tuner, much more important for you going for Roland and, uh, you know, getting those beneficial surges during the end phase. Another draw, thanks to Coral. And, um, okay, there is like a debate of you, instead of playing Coral Dragon, uh, go for Stardust Charge Warrior. Um, yeah, it's cool, I guess, but Coral Dragon is a tuner on its own and might be some, uh, like, disruption as well. So yeah, multiple negations, a follow-up uh, follow play indeed for next turn with the gear fleet surge during the end phase, a small grenade pop during the opponent's end phase. It's a crazy, crazy deck, right? So yeah, that's the list. Like always, feel free to leave suggestions. Uh, it, it, you know, I mean, you could definitely play like 60 cards, regular normal nights, but that's up to you. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Liam signing out. Peace.